Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stawa Bucharest. Today we're continuing our group phase in the Europa Conference League. This is the Europa League, that's not what we're in. There we go. Europa Conference League. Uh, it's match day four, so we have jumped ahead uh, a couple of months since we last met just to try and get through a little bit of the season. We've got through a few league games. We've played about six or seven matches off camera, I think. So we've had three matches in our group stage. This is number four. We are, I think, away against Rapid Vienna. Um, no, we're at home. We're against Rapid Vienna today. And so far, things have gone unexpectedly well in the, uh, in the, in the group. We're doing really good. And hopefully we can get through. We're in a good position to do so. And if you're enjoying the videos, do drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to help the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We're on the road to a thousand subs. And just a quick side note as well. Congratulations to Star Bucharest in real life, who yesterday, as a recording this, got promoted to the second division. They won their playoff final against the Afamatsi 4-1 on aggregate. And Star Bucharest have been promoted to the second division after winning their playoff. And they move into their brand new stadium in time for their first matches in the second division. So well done to them, huge congratulations. But back to football manager now. And last time we kicked off our group phase in the Europa Conference League with a win in Greece against Pauk. A really unexpected result here and a great start to our group campaign. We also defeated Dinamo Bucharest one goal to nil in the Eternal Derby. A late goal for Dinoza, but managed to get the three points in a game where we were, we were in control, just struggled to put the ball in there until late on. So, we did play six matches off camera, first of which was our second group game as we took on Royal Antwerp at home from Belgium. And this wasn't a great match, it was not a good match at all, no goals, seven shots in total in 90 minutes. It was just a dull match, like dull's an understatement, it was boring. And then we had another stalemate away against a promoted Petrol Ploiesti. Um, and I think the reason for the lack of goals, Taufik Ishmael uh, picked up a hernia injury and was out for about three weeks. And I think that's evident in our lack of goals as we failed to score twice in a row. I feel like we should have scored in this one though. XG 1.34, we were far and away the better side. But just couldn't put the ball in the net. But then we did manage to win our next match as I kind of forgot that Lovren Nezovic can play as a centre forward. And I played him there and he scored twice. So that's uh, the Ishmael Hill situation sorted. He is back from injury now and I think we'll play today. But um, yeah, we just missed him for a little bit because of a hernia. But against UT8 Arad away from home, we won three goals to one. And Vaxlev Petric scored his first league goal for us to make it 1-0 inside two minutes. And then Arad gave away a penalty after 14 minutes that was converted by Lovren Ezevic for his first goal of the game. It was 2-0. Not long after that, UTA did pull a goal back through Durofte and it was at 2-1. And then on a half hour mark, it was 3-1 as Lovren Ezevic got his second goal of the game. And that was it for the rest of the match. All three goals, all four goals, sorry, coming within half an hour. And the rest of the match just died, really. We kind of shut down the game and, you know, we'd done what we needed to do and just managed to defend for the remainder of the game. Then, unbelievably, we won again away from home in the Europa Conference League. We took on Rapid Vienna in Austria and won 2-0. So after three matches in our Europa Conference League group, we are on seven points and we are top. I did not see that coming. Halfway through, and we're in a really good position to get through our group. But the goals here came from Nezovic and from Morong. Nezovic with a goal on 28 minutes to make it 1-0. Petrik had the ball in the net. Uh, later in the first half, but it was disallowed. And then Usman Morong scored on 63 minutes to make it 2-0. And yeah, just a good performance here. Possession was about the same, but we were, you know, really good with the ball. Um, only five shots on target out of 15. But yeah, just really good finishing. And a great defensive display as well. To get a clean sheet in Austria, again, very impressed. Then we had a bit of a goal fest in the cup. We drew Uppsala Galazzi, who have been sort of yo-yoing between divisions two and three at the moment. And this ended five goals to three. We had an eight goal thriller in the cup. I did rotate heavily for this one. George Michael played his first game in goal. Got a 7.1, made a number of saves, but also made uh, one or two mistakes um, in goal. So had a very up and down day for his first game, George Michael. But you can see that Ilya Nikolic played, Bordea played, Vera Martin played, Mickelson played. So it was a it was a sort of rotated side. But we won 5-3. We did need a bit of help from one of our senior players to get the win. But we managed to get the win. Sipos uh, scored on 13 minutes to make it 1-0. Uh, Galaxy equalised uh, just a minute later through Grajnan. And then took a lead through Tudorake. 20 minutes, we were 2-1 down. 
In the second half, we did go in front as Morong equalised on 48 minutes to make it 2-2. And then Bordea scored his, I think, second club goal for us. Uh, to give us a lead, 56 minutes. And then barely a minute after that, it was 3-3 as Roshka scored for Galazzi. And then, as I mentioned, we do need a bit of help from one of our senior players. Lovren Ejevic came on from the bench and got a late brace to give us the win as he scored on 86 minutes to make it 4-3 and then got a fifth in stoppage time. So needed a bit of help from one of the big boys to get the win, but we managed to do so. And in the next round, we've got CFR Cluj. And the final match we played off camera was a great performance at home against Gazma Tamadias, former champions, of course. And um, yeah, Vasilescu scored twice in this one. He pops up with goals here and there, but that's the first time he scored a brace for us. And it was a great performance by him. Again, defensively, we were excellent. Lukovic has been in phenomenal form. So yeah, really good performance. Vasilevsky with that brace in the first half to make it 2-0. And then we've got a third in the last 10 minutes, Nezovic scoring again. And it was on 83 minutes to make it three goals to nil. Medias weren't without their chances. We were just very good defensively and Erez has been as trustworthy as ever in goal. So looking at the league table, we're currently in second place, a point behind Krajova and two ahead of our rivals, FCSB. And in the Europa Conference League group, as I mentioned, we currently sit top with seven points. Antwerp are on five, Pauk on two, and our opponents today, Rapid Vienna, are on one point. So hopefully we can win this today. And if we do, that might be enough to get through, depending on how Pauk do in their game against Antwerp. So yeah, we're in a very, very good position. And I mentioned previously about you know, trying to make some ground in these rankings. And it's going to be very difficult to overtake the Czech Republic this season because two of the other three Romanian sides in Europe got knocked out by Czech teams. FCSB and Vitor both got knocked out by Czech sides. So I don't think we're going to overtake those. Um, I was trying to work out exactly how this works, like how many points you get. And it's, it's kind of complicated to explain to you now, but, you know, hopefully we can do it. If we get far, like if we can go through, and then, you know, maybe some of the other Czech sides go. We might have a good chance. But there are three other Czech sides still in the group stages. So it's going to be a difficult one. But we'll see what we can do. But Victoria, Jablonek and Sparta Prague are all in the group stage. And we're the only Romanian side left in European competitions this season. So, yeah, I mentioned before that there is kind of a building a nation aspect to this in terms of trying to get, you know, better, better performances in Europe and better places in Europe. But it's going to be a long, long time before we make ground like that. And to build the nation, you kind of have to improve the sides around you, which is kind of difficult to do because you have to basically sell them your players on the cheap and you have to kind of buy from abroad as well because you don't really want to be taking good players from other Romanian sides and we haven't really been doing that. So it's not really anything we've been doing, but something to maybe think about in future transfer windows is to maybe try and buy from abroad and, you know, try and move on some of your unwanted players on the cheap to other Romanian sides to try and improve them. That's kind of the idea of a building a nation. But for, for now, I think we just need to try and build on our own team and just try and focus on consistently qualifying for Europe and trying to win as many trophies as we can. And then we can maybe start thinking about improving the other sides around us. But that's going to take a long, long time. And we might not even get a chance to do that. So I guess we just focus on ourselves for now. Anyway, I've spoken for long enough. Let's play some football, shall we? Rapid Vienna at home. I fancy us uh, for this match. You know, we've got seven points from three games so far. Really, really impressed. So hopefully we can do well. This was the side that won 3-0 against uh, Gazmatan Medias. We should have Ishmael back. Uh, I don't think he's going to be fully fit, though. He passed a fitness test, but his match fitness is right down. So I don't think he'll be able to start for us. Which leaves the question, do we go Nezovic or do we go Sipos? Petrik's not really done too well. He's got a couple of goals for us, but for the most part, hasn't really managed to put in good performances. Gromeni also had a leg break, which I didn't mention in the last video. He's going to be out for a couple more weeks. All right, I'll bring Ismail onto the bench. I'm going to give Bordea the start on this left side. And I'm going to put Nezovic up top. Ismail's going to be on the bench. But if Antwerp slip up in their game against Pauk, but if Antwerp slip up in their game against Pauk and we get a good result here, we might be through with like two games to spare, which would be ridiculous. And I had no idea we'd do this well in, um, in our group stage. I thought this would be a really, really tough group. And I think it is. I, th I just think I've underestimated our own team here. But let's see what we can do in this game. There is a free kick early on here, and it's well saved by uh, Strebinger. We almost opened the scoring inside a minute. But we've got a corner. We could still get a goal here in like 70 seconds, but let's see. It's headed away by Mwene. Here is Nedelea. 
to Zubile, who's been a great signing at right back. Like, he's been very good, as has Lukovic. I went out to get two fullbacks in the summer. I've got two, and I'm very pleased with both of them. I think they've both really helped the team because they can, they, they're they good defensively. They get forward. They've been two very good signings. And as I said before, I find fullbacks the most difficult position to fill, to recruit in your team. And I think we've done well. But let's see what we can get here. 18 minutes, we've got the ball. And here is uh, Manalake to Morong. And, well, Ericsson intercepts that. And Nedelea didn't really move to the ball. But again, a poor pass there by the midfielder for Rapid Vienna. And here's Lukovic. Finds Bordea. And he could maybe send through Nezovic, but looks to go back to Lukovic. And Dinoza's through here. And, oh, he's done a very smart thing there. Dinoza's got nine goals this season. He's been our best player so far. He's had some really rough games. But when he plays well, he plays well. Unfortunately, when he plays bad, he plays very badly. But Bordea went back to Lukovic here. And that's a great ball by Lukovic. Great vision to see Dinoza. And he's chipped the goalkeeper there. Great finish. 1-0, 19 minutes. Vasilescu manages to get that under the, the challenge of the attacking player. And Nezovic might be through here. Could be 2-0. And he's gone right at the keeper. I mean, could have. he is left-footed. Like, on that right foot, that might have been good. But he's gone straight to the goalkeeper. From the corner, though, let's see if we can get something here. I don't think we've had a set-piece goal yet. I think, well, no, we have. But we haven't had a defender score yet this season. So we're still waiting for that. But we are dominating this game. Coming up to half an hour. Yeah, we're, we're well on top. Funtash, and this could be a late chance for Rapid late in the first half here. And it's well won by Cimpiano and cleared forward by Morong. And here's Nedelea and a chance to break now late in this first half. Nedelea forward to Dinoza. And Nezovic is coming into the box. There's a few more bodies in there now. Dinoza could go himself, sets up Morong and it's blocked by Hendel. And Dinoza with the rebound, 2-0. Two goals from Dinoza. He's in double figures in November. <laughs> He's having a great season. But 2-0... Um, an approaching half-time. Really, really impressed with how we've done so far in this game. Morong with the shot. Hand Handle blocks it. Keeper committed. Dinoza had an open goal and could not have missed. I've either overestimated our opponents or I've heavily underestimated my team here. Because we are looking at getting 10 points from four games and maybe getting through this group unbeaten if we do well in those remaining two games. We're having a phenomenal run in this group stage. And we haven't lost since the... Um, since the games against um, Sparta Prague, I think. Sorry, no, the games against Sarajevo. We haven't lost since then. So we're looking very, very good. And there's still highlights late in this first half here. We're at 45 minutes plus stoppage time. Head of forward by Manalake. And he's going to get it back. And here's Dinozo, who's on a hat trick. And he's going to go for it here. But he's going straight for the goalkeeper, Strebinger. But a great first half performance. I mean, that was just about as dominant a first half as you can have. And I've been, yeah, very impressed. I wouldn't mind if we just shut the game down in the second half and just kept it at 2-0. It might be boring, but if it does the job, I'm happy. Here's Bordea, who's had an alright game. He hasn't really done anything amazing, but he hasn't done anything wrong. So it's been a comfortable performance by him. Here's Nezovic, could make it three. Oh, how close was that? He's gone for the. He's he's gonna beat the keeper, but he's he's hit the post. We're in a pretty comfortable position. I'm gonna bring on Ismail to try and get some fitness. Uh, I'm gonna take off Bordea and just swap Nezovic and Ismail round just to try and get him some fitness because we're in a comfortable position here. Zubale to Vasilescu. Twenty minutes to go. Ismail could get a goal and a return here though. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper though. Here's Araze. And this could be a chance for a rapid to break here. But Zubale just does great in the tackle. Really good defending again. Okay, I'm going to bring off one of these midfielders. Probably Vasilescu. Uh, yeah, I'll bring him off. Uh, I'll bring on Toma. And final change. Morong's going to make way for Martin. Corner kick. Headed out by Kuslos. It's going to come back to Ismail. And Nezovic. And Dinoza. He's got himself his hat trick. Okay, there was a bit of a quiet second half, and I, I did what I said we'd do. We've kind of shut the game down, but late on, Dinoza completes his hat-trick, and it's a 3-0 win against Rapid. It's a dominant performance. Pauka winning still against Antwerp. It's 2-1. They've just got a late goal through Kolak. And yeah, Nezovic with the header, and Dinoza with the volley from close range. A hat-trick for Dinoza, 11 for the season, and just a perfect performance, really. I know I, I got it wrong. Sorry, we needed Antwerp to get something. 
So no, we haven't quite done enough, but we're five points clear with six to play for. If we get one more point, then we should be okay because we've got good to get head to head. The only team we haven't beaten is Antwerp and that was nil nil in, uh, that was at home. So, you know, as long as we can do well in the home game against Park and then avoid defeat away against Antwerp, I think we, we should win this group. And yeah, it's going very, very well. And if some of these Czech sides can fall away, even though as it stands, all three of them are going through, then we can hopefully make up some ground on them as well. So we've got a cup game against Cluj next. Then we take on Pauk in uh, match day five of the Europa Conference League. So if we need anything against Antwerp to go through, then I'll absolutely do that game next on camera. But if not, we'll go ahead a bit further, maybe to somewhere like Viterol. So yeah, we've got a nice little unbeaten run going at the moment. Hopefully we can keep it going. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. So the best ways to support and help the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications as we're on the road to a thousand subs. And uh, depending on whether we need anything in our final European game, uh, we might do Antwerp next time, we might not. If we've got nothing to play for, then I'll jump ahead a bit further. Maybe go into, uh, what's our last game before our winter break actually? Is it Viterol? It is, yeah. So if we don't need anything against Antwerp, then we'll do Viterol and then that will be our last game before our winter break. So that's going to be the plan. But yeah, we're on a really good run so far. We're you know not far off the top of the table in the league. We're just one point off. The groups are going incredibly well, like better than I ever expected. So yeah, things are in a really good place right now. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.